everybody! I'm here today to tell you about seven expert tricks for gripping the steering wheel. That's right, in this video, I'll be going over seven tricks that experts use to grip the steering wheel better than ever before. Now, it's very important to know that when you have a good grip on the steering wheel, you are more likely to be a better driver on the road. That's why it's super important. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Trick number one is alternate grips depending on the situation. Now, I will tell you this. Sorry about that. I actually just have to go back over here. I am taking the wrong route right over here. Okay, so you want to, trick number one is alternate grips depending on the situation. Okay, um, yeah, as you, you probably saw right there, I used two different grips just right in that situation. So there are a few steering wheel grips that you can use, okay? You can use like a nine and three right here. You can use a 10 and two. You can use a one-handed in the center, a little bit towards the right, towards the left. And you can use sort of like um, holding it on the bottom like this. Now, just to give you an example, when I'm doing a three-point turn, I will use a one-handed grip because I gotta turn the steering wheel fast all the way in one direction and the other. There's no steering wheel control that is needed for stopping the wheel mid-turn when doing a three-point turn. But on the highway, I hold the wheel like this because I need to just be relaxed with my hands. So, you know, I mean, it's very simple. Depending on the situation, you have to alternate your steering wheel grip, okay? Um, trick number two is sit like a pro and you'll grip like a pro. Very important, you saw right there, I went from one-handed so I could control my right hand to, to sort of like a 10 and two position right there, okay? So you have to have the right posture. If I'm sitting like this, number one, my back's gonna kill me. I'm not young anymore, my back's gonna hurt. But number two, you know, you, you're, you're, gonna, you're not gonna have a good grip. You need to sit like a pro, and then you can grip like a pro. That's all is what I say. So babe, I just kind of made it up right now, but I'm gonna say it from now on because it sounds so cool. Um, basically, if you're sitting with the proper posture, you're gonna end up having better control and grip over the steering wheel. It's very simple. Trick number three is you need to be comfortable with your grip. There are many options that you can use. Now, when you're doing your driving test, it's different. They might require you to have a certain grip on the steering wheel. That's totally different. I'm talking about when you're just driving on a regular basis. There are many options that you can use for steering wheel grip. If I don't feel comfortable doing this grip, then why would I do it? You're not gonna be safe unless you feel comfortable. It's as simple as that. So choose a grip that's gonna allow you to feel comfortable. You wanna make sure that you have your hands in a position that will entirely allow you to feel comfortable. Also because you don't wanna come home with cramps, okay? Um, very simple and straightforward. So number three is choose a grip that um, will, will allow you to feel comfortable. Number four is stretch out your fingers often, okay? So what you wanna do is Every once in a while, if you are in the same position, because as you can see, I'm like, boo, boo, boo. I drive in all different directions. So my fingers, like I change my grip so often that my fingers are always being stretched. Whether I'm adjusting something in the car, you know, drinking my coffee, whatever the case is, my fingers are pretty much always being stretched. But if you are a driver, sorry about that, let me put everything back in place here. Um, if you are a driver where you're like this for half an hour at a time, no, you stretch those fingers. All you gotta do is just like that, even on the wheel. Stretch your fingers like that. I apologize about the poor lighting, but um, it really, all you should really be focusing on is my hands with my steering wheel grip anyways. Okay, number five, um, a looser grip will prevent fatigue in your forearm and in your wrists, okay? Now, um, it depends on the strength of your forearms and your wrists and your age and a whole bunch of factors, but if you are experiencing uh, what we like to call steering wheel grip fatigue, I just made that one up too right now, but it sounds great, I'm gonna keep using it. Um, if you're experiencing that, loosen your grip. You're, you should have a tight enough grip on the wheel that you're not gonna lose control, but you shouldn't be like this, like, ah, my forearms are on fire, okay? You shouldn't be like that, you know? like. Grip the wheel, but it should be loose enough that you're not gonna, uh, you know, you're not gonna be flexing your forearm. Listen, even the strongest people in the world would be in pain or be in fatigue if they were gripping like this for half an hour at a time. It's not meant for that. The steering wheel is not meant for that. It's also a pretty thick wheel most of the time. So loosen up the grip a bit. 
If you feel like you're experiencing wrist pain or uh, forearm pain, then you can adjust your, your seating position. That will help um, depending on if you're in the wrong position to begin with or not. Um, but also you can loosen, just loosen up the grip on your steering wheel ever so slightly, like 10% loosening. Very simple. You will notice a uh, an unbelievable difference in um, how in how how easy it is on your forearms and wrists. Okay. Number six is to spread your four fingers on the steering wheel instead of being like a fist. Okay. Instead of doing like a fist. So some people when they're learning to drive, they like you know when you make a fist, you say your four fingers are together. What's going on over here in front of me? Oh, why are you driving 25 kilometers below the speed limit? Come on. Let's go! Sorry, it's like it's it's amazing. I start screaming. They're they're going faster, but I didn't honk my horn or anything. It's like I just sent them the vibe. Get faster! Drive the speed limit or pull over into a parking lot. They understand right away. It's incredible. Anyways, um, if you make a fist, your four fingers are together and your thumb is overlapping. Watch when I grip the wheel. Okay, my thumb is sort of like this. So it's kind of like just, just gripping on the wheel, but my four fingers are spread out. I'm not making a fist on the wheel. They're spread out a little bit. And I'll tell you why. Number one, it gives you more surface area on the steering wheel, which allows you to have, number one, better control, okay? It allows you to prevent fatigue because you're not flexing as much. Overall, it is like a huge difference in, in the way that you, you grip. And what, what's best about this is the following, okay? You know, when you're gripping the wheel and you spread your fingers out, it's a change that it can take two seconds to, to make that change. And it makes the world of a difference. I promise you, look at your hands the next time that you're driving your car. Look at your fingers, are they all touching or are they just slightly spread out? If they're slightly spread out, you're in the right position. You're gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a better grip on the wheel. If they're touching each other and they're really close together, like a fist almost, no, that's not good. You need to change that because it's gonna help you have a better grip and prevent fatigue. Okay, last but not least is the seventh trick, which is to know your steering wheel controls, okay? And I'll tell you why. Your steering wheel controls allow you to control the various things on the car um, without removing your hand from the wheel. But if you don't know what they are, how they how they respond and how to access them, then let's say I'm like trying to figure out what's going on over here on the wheel, right? My hand is not properly gripping the wheel. So take half an hour, an hour and memorize, memorize where those what where those controls are what they do and so forth when you memorize them you'll be able to keep your grip on the wheel and adjust so what i like to do is i like to drive at 10 and 2 roughly when i'm driving with two hands okay then i take only one hand at a time and i would adjust something i would control the steering wheel control so i'm never driving with both hands all over the steering wheel controls i have 10 and 2 i can move my right hand control the steering wheel controls on the right hand or I can move my left hand independently and control those left ones. This way, I never actually lose grip of the wheel and it just allows me to continue being a safe driver while fully gripping the wheel. But that's basically it. Um, in this video, I have gone over some expert tricks for gripping the steering wheel, seven of them to be precise. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.